Hello guys, I'm Megan Graham and today I'm here to talk to you about holistic dog health. Now, why am I passionate about holistic dog health? And by the way, this is Alfie, my Yorkshire Terrier. So before Alfie, I had another dog and his name was Teddy. He had an autoimmune disease that is common for smaller dogs. Happens with big dogs too, but it's much more common in small dogs. And so Teddy got this autoimmune disease. It's called GME, it has a longer name, but that is the abbreviation. And the autoimmune de disease was actually creating holes in Teddy's brain. I did all the traditional care for Teddy, and that included light chemotherapy, um, steroids, getting an MRI, and many, many other things. He also had to go through a spinal tap. Um, I am still on boards where people discuss GME and I think it's great. I think people should absolutely see a great neurologist. I think that a good neurologist is what pulled Teddy out of the problems that he was having. But the one thing that isn't addressed in a lot of dog veterinarians offices as well as, I think this is a problem with human um, doctors as well, is why did something happen? And although I'm not a vet and I can't say exactly why the GME happened, it would appear that it has to do with inflammation and possibly toxicity. So one of the things that the vets would not allow me to do after Teddy got GME was to give him any more vaccinations. And if you don't know this and you have a small dog, the vaccinations that they give to little dogs are so a dog like Alfie, who weighs four pounds, would get the exact same um, size vaccine that a 100 pound dog would get. They wouldn't do this with humans, but for some reason with dogs, they do not alter the size of the vaccine according to the size of the dog, which to me is something that really needs to be changed because it's very possible that small dogs like Alfie and Teddy are being over vaccinated. Not to say that they don't need any vaccines at all, but could we not make a vaccine that would fit their teeny tiny body size and their delicate immune system as well? And I know this isn't always a popular subject to talk about, but they're vaccines for dogs. And I think that money needs to be invested to make them the correct size. So the other thing that I believe added to Teddy's autoimmune disease was that I was actually giving him commercial flea medicine. And if you look at any of the popular brands of flea medicine and you find out what the ingredients are, they are neurotoxins, which you are putting, I know I used to put it right on the back of Teddy's neck and he really didn't like it and he used to hide. So you're putting a neurotoxin onto your dog's back, which is absorbed into your dog's body. I mean, I think a lot of the literature is coming out now and that is that a lot of those different um, medicines for fleas and insecticides are really terrible for animals and humans. Um, I personally use all holistic and organic things to protect myself from any kind of insects and I do the same thing for my dogs. So I'm gonna be linking below to some of my favorite products because I personally no longer use any commercial flea and tick medicine. I use holistic things from a company called Dr. Dobius. I'm gonna have a link below. And as far as the um, herbicides, pesticides, anything that my dogs encounter when they're out walking, I actually give them a daily detox to pull those things out of their bodies. So even if there are any extra ingredients in the vaccines that they're getting, I do my best. I can't take every single thing that would possibly harm my dogs out of their bodies, but I do a daily really gentle detox in their food, and I also do drops to boost their ATP production and their natural energy. Um, I think there is so little focus even on people's natural health products, and there's even less of an understanding right now for animals, but my why, and the reason that I love talking about products like this and why I hope that more people will use them preventatively instead of when their pet is already in a health crisis, is that 
Teddy, to me, I didn't know enough when I had Teddy and I was just learning about how important it is not to use scented floor cleaners around your pets because they're walking on them, not to use scented products like um, plug-ins or to wash their pet blankets with things like Tide and other scented products. Sorry, but synthetic fragrance is, it's just so bad for you. It doesn't have any redeeming qualities and I think if most people really understood what synthetic fragrance was doing, they would use a lot less of it. There's so many other ways to smell great, including just being clean. That's probably the easiest way. Um, but this really became a passion for me because one thing that I wish I had done with my dog's GME is to do some complementary things with him to work and see if I could take some of the toxins out of his body that were causing inflammation in hopes that it might have made him go into remission for longer. So the steroids were very helpful as, as was the chemo, but it only could keep him in remission for five years. So I share these things because you can do this for your dog every single day, whether you're feeding your dog commercial food or it's just walking on the ground outside or any of those things, everybody's dog could use some support. Um, and so that is why I talk about the different products that I love so much. So I'm going to be linking to my very favorite holistic products. So guys, that's how I became so passionate about the products that I use for my pets. It doesn't take a long time. It doesn't take a lot of money. I feed them ever more dog food, which is really good quality. I carry great pet insurance and I use Dr. Dobius's flea and tick products as well as his vitamins and minerals to help with my dog's health. I don't think any of us can be guaranteed that our pets will never get sick, but if we do some simple things to keep inflammation at bay, hopefully they will have better health in the long run. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know if you have any questions about any of the products that I'm using, put them in the comments below. Please be sure to like this channel and follow my channel if you are not following me. I have a passion for health, fitness, pets, and beauty, and I share videos about all of those things. Um, and I also just wanted to tell you guys that if you do see me linking to a product, it is because I love that product. Every single day I get inundated with so many different companies that would like for me to talk about their products because I have a pretty popular YouTube channel. And I think there is nothing more than being authentic and only talking about the things that you love. So if I make a recommendation, it's because I am passionate about it. You guys stay healthy and stay beautiful and I will see you soon.